Hi guys, I'm Stephanie Sebbing from Quilt Addicts Anonymous, and this is Jelly Roll, my almost two-year-old basset hound. He was just a big baby. So in a couple weeks, it's National So a Jelly Roll Day. Not you, Jelly Roll. These Jelly Rolls. So to celebrate, we're doing 50% off any Quilt Addicts Anonymous pattern that uses Jelly Rolls. So it's the two and a half inch strip rolls. I'm gonna let her take a break because she's not used to stardom. And we're gonna take a peek at these and list off my top nine patterns that you can make with the jelly roll in one weekend for National Sew a Jelly Roll Day coming up in September 17th, 2022. All right, so this is how this is gonna go. I'm gonna break down the top nine jelly roll patterns that we have here at quiltatofsoundness.com. I'll tell you when it's on sale or free, and we're gonna show you jelly rolls in between. We're gonna start off with Stripping in Paradise. This was the very first quilt pattern I ever wrote. It uses an entire strip roll, and we actually used to teach this as our beginner quilting course when we had a brick and mortar Quilt Addicts Anonymous. Now we're just online only. So I have walked probably 40, 50 plus students through this pattern, and it has been their very first quilt. It teaches you strip piecing, it teaches you half square triangles. We've got a video tutorial that shows you every single step of the way, so that way you can be successful with it. And it is really fun because those seams don't end up matching up when we put our jelly roll strips together for those half square triangles. So it's super fun. And I'm gonna show you the jelly roll that I think would look fantastic in this. So this is Anna Maria Horner's Make My Day. And it is super vibrant, super bold. So you would just need to get any neutral. And you, I think it's like three yards of that or two and a half yards. Check out the pattern back, you'll be able to figure that out. Um, and it will just shine and you can do it in color order. You can mix it up. You can just have a great time with this and it will look fantastic and lovely and you cannot go wrong with Anna Maria Horner made my day in Stripping in Paradise. All right, the number two jelly roll pattern that you absolutely should check out and you can totally do in a weekend is Hillside. This one is almost entirely strip piece. We're gonna strip piece straight away like normal for the ones that go straight across. And we're gonna do kind of an offset 45 degree for the ones that go on the diagonal. This is a really fast one to put together. It goes super, super quick. And then we just cut those really long columns. It's really fantastic. And for this one, you want to have two complete jelly rolls to make it. So I think that both of the latest cape releases would be fabulous for this because you could have both the light and the cool colorways, mix and match, have some fun, just really take advantage and get all of this goodness in. And we have done this a couple of times in CAFE. It looks fantastic. And as always, we've got a video tutorial showing you how to do it step-by-step. Step. Those last two patterns, by the way, are 50% off because they are Quilt Addicts Anonymous patterns. You can grab the PDF for six bucks on both of those. As well as this next pattern, Refraction. This is one of mine. It was one of my originals that I came up with. We made the original Batiks. We've remade it several times since. Um, it looks great in cave, but I think it would look fabulous in some laurel birch. This is absolutely beautiful stuff. It has all the colorways of the latest Fiesta Horses release, and it is stunning. They've got some earth tones as well as some jewel tones all in this. So you can group by color and just kind of have it change as you go out. And since these are all really rich, vibrant colors, it would be very easy to find a neutral in order to make this work. But you know what, when you're working with Laurel Birch, sometimes a black background is absolutely fantastic. This, while it doesn't look like it is a simple quilt, I have actually made this in one day. Um, that was start to finish with like no stops or breaks. Uh, my aunt, who is a more relaxed quilter than me, has made this top start to finish in one weekend. So it is a weekend quilt. There are no Y seams. It is almost entirely strip piece. You do need a clear view triangle ruler to do it. And as always, we've got the video tutorial walking you through how to do it over at shop.quiltlatticenomics.com. You can watch it on the um, pattern page. So you'll be able to grab that, grab, one of your Laurel Birch um, Fiesta Horses strip rolls and pick out some background that works and you are good to go. All right, this next pattern is absolutely free. It is the Quilt As You Go placemats. I did the original one in some Tula de la Luna, which is long, long gone. Um, I've remade it since. Actually, my daughter remade it when she was in kindergarten. So that shows you how easy this is. I did all the cutting and she did all the sewing. And you can just of at it. So the, the pattern gives you enough for, I think it's four placemats and a table runner or in, 
or you can do eight placemats. It's up to you, but you can get a whole lot and all you need is some coordinating yardage for your binding and your backing fabric. And since it's quilt as you go, when you're done sewing the top, you also are done quilting. So it goes super fast, super easy, totally can get it done for sew a jelly roll day. And we have coordinating yardage for this. So you're gonna be able to get this exact fabric to match for your binding and for your backing fabric. Actually, I think the binding is scrappy on this one. I think that's the case. Don't quote me on it. But the pattern's free, go check it out, grab one of these and some coordinating yardage and make you some seasonal placemats. And if you finish them on sew a jelly roll day, they'll 100% be ready for Halloween. So. Perfect, perfect opportunity to make that happen. All right, next up for a fabulous jelly roll pattern you can sew up is the Quilt As You Go Jakarta Placemats from June Taylor. So this one isn't so much of a pattern as it is you buy batting that has all the placement of the fabrics already on there and you just kind of stitch and flip as you go. We've got a full video tutorial that shows you how to do it. We did it in holiday prints and I believe we might have a couple of kits left for that. Um, but we also had the batting available separately. And I think it would look absolutely fantastic in Canyon Springs from Cotton and Steel. These colors are absolutely on trend right now in terms of what is popular in home decor. And so you can get all of these in one place mat. You could separate it into colorways. There's like this teal colorway, and then there is this more yellow colorway, and then there's this more like rich kind of pinkish rust maroon colorway. So you could easily mix and match this to get a couple different looks of placemats out of your set of six. So each um, batting is enough to do six. Now it is set up for like yardage, but you use two and a half inch strips. So you can absolutely make as many of these as you want using a strip roll. They go super fast. They're really fun to do. You would just wanna make sure you grab some additional fabric. And I think we do have a little bit of coordinating fabric that goes with this um, that we used in a recent trendsetter bag. The um, ladybugs would absolutely work for your backing for this. All right, we cannot have so a jelly roll day without including all four of the jelly roll rug patterns. We're gonna start with the original. We were one of the people that helped make this like a hot trend uh, back when this originally came out. We were the, I think the first to put out a video on how to do it, at least the first one to go viral. Um, and it just was crazy. It was absolutely nuts. And we had so many people ordering batting rolls and we still have several of them going out um, every single week. So I know you guys are still making these. It is not quite the insane rush that it once was a few years ago, but it's still a really fun project. I think Chatterbox from RJR would make a really great jelly roll rug because it has a lot of those earth tones that is becoming popular again. The prints are all really small. And so you would see more of the color than you would have to worry about like losing out on prints, which would not be so fun. But this one is just super fun. And again, we've got the tutorial showing you how to do it that you can watch on our website when you get the pattern. These are not on sale because they're not our pattern and you have to buy a paper copy. So but they're awesome, so we'll go check them out. So the second Jelly Roll Rug pattern to come out was Jelly Roll Rug Squared, and that one is all straight. So this is one of the easier ones to do because you just have to keep your strips straight when you're working on them. And I've got lots of tips on how to do that because on my first one I tried, they were not super straight, and then I figured it out by the time I did the tutorial for you guys. Um, Neutrals always work great for this, but I think this would make a really adorable nursery rug to go right in front of the uh, crib. And we have this perfect line from RJR Studios. It's called Wild Ones. It has a bunch of little creatures and the colors are so soft and subtle, but also neutral enough to where it could work for a boy or girl. So I think this would look great as a sweet little rug in a nursery. All right, so oval and uh, rectangle were not enough. We also needed a circle Jelly Roll rug. So that's when Jelly Roll rug pie came out. And I think that this Luminous Daydream by RJR Studio would be fabulous in it. It's super psychedelic. And so to have this like swirling going from the red 
to those magentas to the pink and just swirling out and out and out. I think that would be so wild and fun and I think it would look fabulous in your sewing room, especially if you love bright, bold, like we have here at Quilt Addicts Anonymous. So that is Jelly Roll Rug Pie. All right, we are gonna wrap it up with the Jelly Roll Rug Pillows and Placemat. This was the last pattern to come out. It showed you how to take it and turn your Jelly Roll Rug strips into either placemats or a pillow. I think that this collection, Frolic from Cotton and Steel, would work great for that. It looks very springy to me. I know we are like getting out of that season, but let's be honest, when do you ever buy something then like make it that second? Usually it takes you a minute. So you could get it now and you could have it done for spring or it could make a good holiday gift. But the colors are really, really fun. And the really fun part about doing it as a placemat especially is that you're not gonna use all of the strips. You're gonna be able to get about four placemats, two of them matching when you make this. And so you are able to do that and a matching set of coasters and each one can look a little different. So they could be coordinated, but not matchy matchy. So I think this would look great for that pillows and placemats. And again, we have tutorials for all of this over at shop.quiltexonomous.com. So that way you don't have to worry about finding a quilt shop near you that's doing an event or making sure you are 100% free that day. You can get the supplies, you can get the patterns if they're one of ours for 50% off, six bucks. We even got a free one in there. And then you can work on it at your own pace or if you're working on it at three in the morning because you're having a really fun sew day and you just don't wanna stop, but you're stuck, you can watch one of our videos and we'll help you through whatever it is you need any time of the day, 24 seven. That is the beauty of the internet and YouTube. So go check it out. We're gonna link all the tutorials down below because we do only are allowed to have five cards above. So we're gonna link them all in the video description down below. So just click on that. You can get to where all the video uh, descriptions are. You can get to all the patterns that we have mentioned here and you can check out all of the in stock jelly rolls that we have. So thank you to Jelly Roll, the Basset Helm, for being our guest star. She was a little nervous about coming on. She had to be walked around a little bit to, to make sure she was ready for, for her debut on camera. She is just a, a sweet little love in our life. She is 62 pounds and maybe like 18 inches tall. So she is, she is a big little dog and we love her and we could not imagine our family without her and when we got a a big half european half american roly-poly basset we thought jelly roll that is a name that that needs to be for this dog so and it it is perfect for her we love her so very much so and we also love jelly rolls so get yourself a jelly roll get yourself a pattern and be ready to sew on the 17th of september for national sew jelly roll day Thanks so much, and until next time, happy quilting.